Okay, welcome back to another Tech Edu Tip videos, and now with my my face in the green screen again. Here we go. So I want to talk a little bit about using Google Drive um, with my classes. So it's common that I'll set up a drive for each semester, and then this is the uh, folder that I created for my class. I actually have two groups: a morning and an afternoon group, and they're with different professors. So I created a group for the morning, group for the afternoon, and then what I went and it did there is what you want to do is you want to go to share and you want to share that with your colleagues so for example um, my two colleagues uh, I've shared it with there and the same thing with the other thing now they have edit permissions on this folder um, that's how I'm gonna set it up what I'm gonna do next there's two ways to do this um, I like my students to have visibility in an open education type environment that they have read-only access to everything. So what I'm likely to do with this group in the morning is add in all of my students with read permissions on all of these folders. That means they can see into these class session log that I created from this morning's class. They could see everything inside of the other folders, although um, teams could control subfolders in there. but. I could give them read permissions or you could choose not to. And then the next step would be for each one of these team folders, um, I would be adding in each one of the students so that they have full write permissions of each one of these folders. So the idea there is they hand in their homework assignments by dropping them into this folder and then submit it into, I'm using Canvas as a URL to the document or to the folder or whatever they're submitting for the assignment. Um, it helps promote them to do collaboration, especially at a distance. They, they're learning how to use these tools in a better way. And uh, a side benefit, if you choose, and, and I do, is make it so that everybody can see the submissions of everybody, um, but restrict who can write to each one of the folders. So that's what I wanted to share today. I'll uh, have to blur out the names of the people that I shared there. Um, but uh, thanks for my colleagues that are uh, dealing with my weird way of doing these things but i like to have an open environment where students can share and see what each other are sharing so there's a little bit of a tip on using google drive for classes and even in open education environment